What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Let's start this video with lots of physics, specifically the champion Chris Bumstead. Seven days out of this year's big show. And what a legacy this man has already created for himself. It doesn't really matter whether he retires after this year or continues to compete. He will always be remembered as the most dominant and probably one of the most famous champion in the bodybuilding history. Everyone in that top six has trained to win the Olympia this year. But if Chris Bumstead looks anything like he did back in 2022, he is going to be extremely hard to beat. And that fact has already been established. We always said that bodybuilding is kind of tricky. And on that particular day, I am talking about the show day. Anything can happen. Anything can go wrong. But we have seen in the last four years, Chris Bumstead has been very consistent when it comes to his conditioning. And he is now a lot more complete with his back not being a weak point anymore. People project him as the man who is really chill during the offseason and his focus is entirely growing his business. But even if you look at those offseason pictures from this year, he looked pretty damn good. The big surprise this year is gonna be the man from Brazil, Ramondino. And I am talking about in a sense that we haven't seen a single complete physique update from Ramondino in weeks and probably months. Clearly, he created a gap between him and the other guys at the Olympia last year. And that is exactly why we got that two-man callout. So the exciting thing about this year's Mr. Olympia in classic physique is the implementation of new weight caps. And we know Ramon barely made weight last year. And actually, he was even better at the Arnold Classic in March compared to the Olympia where he beat Ors. And I am sure him and his coach Chris Asito will be looking to bring those same shreds with the added fullness to the Olympia stage this time. So that is 6 days out update from Charles the Definition Griffin, winner of the Legion Sports 2023. His back shorts are just wild. And as always, no one is going to have a single complaint about his conditioning. He's been coached by Matt Jensen, and he always brings him in sliced and diced. So Charles Griffin will be eyeing that ninth spot or higher at this upcoming Mr. Olympia. Because after Hunter Labrada and Michael Crizzo, the field is kind of wide open in the men's open for guys like Charles Griffin, Regan Grimes, Andrea Presti, and Justin Shire, and Tonio Burton as well. So it is really gonna come down on how Charles Griffin will hide that pack tier and how will that look on stage. If he can somehow overcome that, and he believes he can, he is gonna be right up there. Next up is Jeremy Bundil. I am sure he faced a lot of obstacles during this comeback after five long years. But you have got to give it to the man. I never thought that this comeback would actually happen. But he proved many wrong including me. And Jeremy just killed this prep. He is flat as a pancake right now. But damn, he is shredded to the bone right now. This might be one of the best looks of his career. He is such a big name in the men's physique. And his presence alone makes a lot of difference. Regardless of where he places at this year's Mr. Olympia, he will earn the respect of many. His abs need to be very well defined and separated on stage. Because he is going up against some guys who are really shredded and have some of the best set of abs in this division, like Brendan Hendrickson and Aaron Banks. I think they have the sickest abs in this division. So do let me know what you guys think. Can Jeremy Bundeo win the Olympia this year? Is this gonna be the comeback of Sazan Hiraiti? I hope it is, because he is a great physique that has been missing from the men's open bodybuilding stage since 2018. I think his last show was California Pro 2018, where Nathan Diesha was the winner and Sazan was the runner-up. You guys might know him by his nickname, Sass. He was able to beat guys like Rafael Brandel and Lionel Bayeki at that show. I don't think he has trained or ate with those same intentions of growing as an open guy in the last four years or so when he was still competing in the men's open. But after that recent cut that he did a few months back, it was pretty evident that he needed more size to balance out with the men's open guys in this era. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.